Thanks for watching Mid Morning this Thursday. It was the biggest issue for voters in the midterm election. And the government has released the October inflation report. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger joins us live from New York with more. Well, Jill, I'll tell you what, Wall Street definitely like these new numbers. Uh, bring us up to speed. <laughs> Well, it came in better than expected. The consumer price index up by 7.7% from a year ago. That is the smallest annual increase since January of this year. We're down from last month's 8.2% 8 and the June peak of 9%. Inside the numbers, I just want to highlight one area that's coming up for all American families, food. It accounts for almost 14% of CPI. It was up 10.9% from a year ago, so still high. That's because pandemic-related supply chain disruptions, then the war in Ukraine, and then, of course, higher energy prices. Bottom line, Thanksgiving meal going to cost a lot this year, much more than last year. Right. So food, we've talked about housing also in there. We know housing eats up a lot of a family's budget. What are we seeing there? Well, interestingly, you're right. Shelter uh, is the biggest component of the consumer price index. Shelter accounts for nearly a third of CPI. Now, the government tries to equalize the cost of shelter with a, a, a line item for rents, but then an estimate of how much a homeowner would have to pay if they were renting their own home. So they put it together, they get shelter. Shelter actually was up over the month. It's actually 6.9% higher from a year ago, and that's a ahead of the 6.6 percent reading last month. So I would say we need a lot more help on the shelter mm. component. We've got to see that go down. Okay, so we know, look, the Fed has raised interest rates several times this year, trying to slow inflation. So the magic question, is it actually working? I think sort of, okay? What a fudge factor that is, right? Well, the right. Fed focuses, uh, the, I'm sorry, uh, the Fed focuses on this thing called the core inflation rate. It pulls out food and energy, and the core rate rose at a 6.3% annual pace. It's down from 6.6%. That's part of the reason that stock investors are kind of cheering this morning. But I have to be clear, this is an improvement that is certainly welcome, but the core rate does remain high, mm. and the Fed knows it. They say there is a lag between this action of raising interest rates and how quickly those higher rates actually come through the economy. Chair Jerome Powell has said repeatedly the Fed has a ways to go before ending this hiking cycle. We will get another rate increase in December. I think now investors are sort of hoping it's a quarter of a percent. I still kind of think they're going to go by a half a percent. Let's see. All righty. Jill Schlesinger, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Breaking it all down. We appreciate it. You can see Jill regularly on CBS Mornings and the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. For more analysis, go to JillOnMoney.com.